Good morning, everyone. Today, inshallah, we are going to start with Unit 6, working in a team. Lesson 1, radio drama. Okay, we're going to read this bubbles. In this edition, we have part of radio drama. What does it mean, radio? Radio is a piece of equipment we use it to listen to channels or program. Okay, we have a reading, A, number the parts of the story in the correct orders. The name of the uh, program is Difficult Patients. We're going to read the parts of the dialogue, then we are going to number them. A, we have a dialogue between Reem and Anne. A, Dad went for an injection and x-ray in the hospital this morning. The specialist think, thinks he will be fine. Anne, wouldn't your dad get better treatment if he went to Riyadh? Reem, I don't think so. B. Anne, has your father agreed to see a doctor? Reem, finally, yes. The doctor's coming after lunch. He would come earlier if he weren't so busy at his clinic. C. Anne, can you come shopping, Reem? Reem, no, Dad's not well. If Mom were alive and here with Dad, I would go shopping but I just want to stay at home to look after dad. D, Reem, dad has a new medicine, but he's taking it once a day instead of twice a day. And, but if your father followed the doctor's instructions, I'm sure his health would improve. E, Reem, dad isn't taking his tablets. Oh dear, why not? They taste awful, dad wouldn't, sorry, dad would take them if they didn't taste bad. F, Anne, is your father feeling better today? Not much better, Anne, and he won't see a doctor. Reem, no, but I'm sure if he saw one, he would recover quickly. Now we are going to number these parts of the stories. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D, E, F. We're going to match them with the, uh, we are going to match them or we are going to put them in order. Okay, so we, here we have answers, A with six, B with a three, C with one, D with five, E with four, F with two. Okay. Now we have B reading. Work in pairs, complete the sentence. We are going to complete these six sentences from the story. Okay. Number one, Reem would go shopping. If what? Please complete it from the story. Number two, Reem's father would recover if what? Number three, the doctor would come earlier if what? Four, Reem's father would take the tablets. Five, Reem's father's health would improve. Six, would Reem's father get better treatment? Okay, take minutes and please complete it from the dialogue or the story. Answers. Number one, Reem would go shopping if her mom were alive and there with her dad. Number two, Reem's father would recover if he saw a doctor. Number three, the doctor would come earlier if he weren't so busy at his clinic. Number four, Reem's father would take the tablets if they did not taste so bad. Five, Reem's father, father's health would improve if he followed the doctor's instructions. Six, if he went to Riyadh, would, question, if he went to Riyadh, would Reem's father get better treatment? Please check your answers. Okay, 
So next, we have listening and speaking. Repeat parts B, C, and F, please. Unit, unit six, working in a team. Lesson one, a radio drama. Track 26, exercise C, listening and speaking. Repeat parts B, C, and F. Can you come shopping, Reem? No, Dad's not well. If Mum were alive, and here with Dad, I'd go shopping. But I just want to stay at home. To look after Dad. Is your father feeling better today? Not much better. And he won't see a doctor? No. I'm sure if he saw one, he'd recover quickly. Has your father agreed to see a doctor? Finally, yes. The doctor's coming after lunch. He'd come earlier. If he weren't so busy at his clinic. Okay, girls. Now, let's move to Exercise D, we have a vocabulary. Work in groups, complete the diagram with words from the stories. Okay, now we have to go back to the stories and find words that related to health. Related to word health. Okay, we need people, treatment. Treatment means uh, uh, care given to sick people. Places related to health, verbs also related to health. Okay, now we are going to check your answers. Okay, people, words related to health, we have doctor and specialist. And the places, we have hospital and the clinic. Treatment, we have injection, x-ray, medicine, tablets. Fair verbs, we have feel, follow, improve, recover. Okay, girls? Okay, so now let's go to exercise E or part E of our lesson is language help, read and remember. Our grammar today is talking about second conditional. What does it mean second conditional? So we have many, many sentences in our story today is talking about second conditionals. For example, if F, please recognize F, if Reem's father so, so is the best form of verb C. A doctor, he would. Would is the second form of verb will. He would recover very soon. Very soon. Okay, so we make the second conditional, the second conditional like this. Verb one, we have past simple, if, then past simple, then would, then the verb to is the base form of the verb, recover, the base form of the, of the verb. Okay, so in the second conditions, first we have the structure, the structure is if, then past symbol, if, 
reams father so past symbol then we have would or wouldn't then the base form of the verb recover would recover okay so this is the structure of the uh, second conditional we use it with why we use the second conditional we use it with the possible situation but not a probable not real situation for example if I were rich I would travel so I'm not rich so this is not real situation so if I were rich I would travel around the world so this is not real situation I'm not rich so just we use it for imaginary imaginary situation okay for example if I were you if I were you I'm not you so if I were you I will quit smoking okay so this is not real situation imaginary okay so the present we use the second conditional to talk about something possible but not probable the present when reams is speaking reams father is ill and won't see a doctor in the past reams father started to be ill in the future second conditional if reams father so remember past form of the verb a doctor he would remember would is the past form of verb well he would recover quickly okay okay girls so now we are going to do this questionnaire we have f reading and speaking choose a or b work in pairs what would you do read the questionnaire and choose a or b number one if you saw someone fall in a shopping mall would you help the uh, sorry help the person to stand phone for an ambulance number two i think you have to phone for an ambulance two if you had the chance to be on tv would you feel happy and say yes feel worried and say no I think you would feel happy and say yes. If you made your friend angry, would you phone and say sorry? Wait until your friend is calm. I think you would phone and say sorry. If you wanted advice about a problem, would you ask your parents, your mom and, da mom and dad, for advice? Ask your friends for advice. I think you would ask your parents. If you had a lot of money to help poor people, would you pay to build a new school, pay to build a new clinic? I think you would pay to build a new clinic. Okay, so please check your answers. A with B, 2 with A, 3 with A, 4, A, 5, B. Okay, girls, so, okay, girls, so reading and speaking, work in bears and answers. What would you do if you saw someone fall in a shopping mall? I would, back, I, will, I would phone for an ambulance, okay? Number two. What would, you, what would you do if you had the chance to be on TV? You can say, I would feel happy and say yes. Number three, what would you do if you made your friend angry? Okay. What would you do if you, uh, sorry, what, you d what would you do if you, Make your friends angry, friend angry. I would for phone and say sorry. Number four, what would you do if you wanted an advice, or sorry, wanted advice about a problem? I would ask my parents. Number five, what would you do if you had a lot of money to help poor people? You can say, I would, Bay 
to build a new clinic. Okay? Okay, girls? That's it. Thank you for watching.